Hello YouTube! Unlike DC motors, stepper motors are far more difficult to control, but today I'll be showing you a way of controlling them very easily using a thing called an easy driver which is being shown here and some basic Arduino code. Firstly, you will need an easy driver which can be bought from the internet for less than $3 a piece. Once you have that, we can get started. Unlike Arduino shields, or standalone chips, this method is a lot easier because you can find a lot more documentation about it on the internet, making the job a lot simpler. As you can see, I have many different types of stepper motor controllers, but none of them work as well as the easy driver. Another important thing to note before we get started is this method will only work with bipolar stepper motors, meaning they have four wires coming out of them. If you have a unipolar motor, you will have to find another way of controlling it since this will not work. Here is a simple circuit I made for the easy driver. As you can see, it's in the middle of the breadboard and connected to it is an Arduino which is powered by this cable. The Arduino then has a ground coming into the easy driver along the purple wire and two signal wires going into the two pins next to the ground wire. Then we have a 9 volt battery going into the power to supply uh, to the stepper motor and then the stepper motor itself, it's four wires connected to the breadboard. And here's the same circuit, but it is running this time. As you can see, here's the NEMA 11 running at its full maximum speed, but of course you can change it using Arduino code, which I will show later. And here it is in time-lapse, moving very, very slowly, but the 9 volt battery dies at this point and the uh, motor stops. Of course, you can replace the motor and the Arduino with their corresponding counterparts. For example, instead of a NEMA 11, I'm using a NEMA 17 here, and I'm also using an Arduino Uno instead of an Arduino Nano. As you can see here, the Easy Driver can even power a NEMA 17, which is a pretty powerful motor. And of course, here is the Arduino code uh, powering it all. The two signal pins, one for speed, one for direction. And here is pin 9, uh, the delay in microseconds or seconds you can change in order to change the speed. The higher the delay, the slower the motor will move, but uh, you can also change it to delay or delay microseconds depending on how fast or slow you want it to go. And here is the web page that really helped me with this project. Uh, you can see here it has great schematics and it also has the code which you can go to and copy yourself. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you now have a better understanding of how to drive rear stepper motors.